So I'm just heading down now to meet a guy called Sean Toomey. Sean and I worked together at Robert Walters a thousand years ago over here. In fact, I just walked past the building we used to work in. Really surreal, this. Hope you can see in the background, we've got the city. And uh, this is all brand new here. Just walking out now onto the terrace where all the action happens in Perth. So Perth has about a million people in the broader area, as far as I remember. And it's a weird one where at least 10 years ago, the city centre itself didn't have a tremendous amount of life, but it seems to have improved a little bit. Most people live outside the city and commute in and they communicate or they, the transport here with, uh, with rail is brilliant. Um, most of the families live up north and then there's like cool suburban neighborhoods where or even beside the beach where a lot of the young professionals live um, so behind as we go up to the terrace behind the terrace you'll see here's all here's basically the company the, everything's run by BHP and all the money that comes from the mining industry so if you're in the recruitment sector Join a company that's got a BHP account. Um, so the terrace. My job as a recruiter was walking up and down the terrace, meeting people for coffees, trying to win business. It's a really fun place to try and win business once you're in the system for a little bit. It takes a few times, and then they kind of start trusting you, and then you get on the on the business. The local connection really matters, and who you join really matters because it'll just save that time of building that trust with the client if they have it already. So I've uh, just met uh, John Shattuck who was on our mastermind program and uh, that was really nice because I caught him at the start of his journey, he was listening to the podcast and then we ended up coaching him and helping him with his business over, I don't know, maybe it was six months or longer. Um, but whatever little bit we had in this journey, it's nice to see his success and just seeing it through those eyes of being in Perth and what the market's like here. That's incredible. This has to be one of the best places to be a recruiter in the world. And I struggle to persuade people to come here over Sydney or Melbourne. And there's less options for you to work in different agencies, but wherever you land here, if you do the work, you'll make loads of money. You'll have a great lifestyle. Um, and I'm, I'm seeing it through I was young and restless when I left, and I'm, I'm definitely thinking, what, why did I leave? Like this, this place is amazing, and it has modernized a lot over the last ten years, and it's been a real eye opener uh, so far. So we're going to go meet uh, Stephen Corby now, which is going to be great crack. Used to work with him at Robert Walters, and. Uh, he is maybe the funniest man in recruitment, so uh, excited about that. And yeah, it's just, it's all good. All right, so having some reflective moments here. It's been amazing walking through the city, seeing the changes, all the infrastructure that's in it now and how busy it was on a, on a Monday and a Tuesday. It's just uh, speaking to people today, how well they're all doing, it's just, it just feels quite vibrant, especially comparing it to the UK, where I lived for five years. Um, and it's one of these protected little economies here because of the mining industry. And I'm wondering what would have happened if I had a state? You know, what would I have ended up doing? Would there have been a recruitment business maybe I could have set up? Or what would my life look like? I mean, things have worked out fine. I live in Gibraltar. I love it. But I look at this and I think, 
this wouldn't have been a bad life. Why was I so restless to get out of here after four years? And I think maybe some of it's just lifestyle choices. And uh, I uh, probably could have, I don't know, lived a bit healthier and maybe tried to find a, more of a balance in things. But it's one of these places where for this stage of life, I think it would be perfect. Like, wake up every day, knowing the sun's shining, knowing that you're in an economy where you're always gonna make money. And it's quite protected from a business perspective. They tend to only do business within WA, within Perth. Uh, compare that to like America and other places where, you know, it's, it's very product driven. Here, you need to kind of get out and Pound the, pound the streets and meet the flat, like shake the hands and do all of that, you know? So it's, it's some spot. So nowhere's perfect. So what are the faults that you'd say Perth has? Um, it's expensive. So people make a lot of money here and sometimes your starting salary might not be what you think it's going to be if you're moving from somewhere else however once you're in the market and you prove yourself that'll change real quick um another one i'd say is getting uh getting on the property ladder from a rental perspective is very competitive and it's uh it's hard just hard to get that apartment so you have to suck it up for a bit like we had some crap apartments and then once we had a bit of credit and got good at like really sourcing them and aggressively going for them and having decent deposits, we were able to get some really nice places and then sublease a room to one of my friends who I'm actually going to meet later on, Martin. And that helped us like bridge the cost gap a little bit and have a really nice standard of living. I think one of the other things that people struggle with in Western Australia is that it's real far from everywhere and like in Europe you know I live in Gibraltar so I can just go into Spain I can get to Morocco I can get on a quick flight to Manchester or Bristol wherever I, like it's everything's so accessible if I want to get skiing I could spin over there when you're in WA you feel very far away from things and your life because I, you'll get to a point where you have to choose if your life's going to be over here or if it's going to be over in Europe. So a lot of people come in and out of it in three years and some people stay. The people that stay seem to do quite well. Um, I see more happy people that have stayed long term than those who go back just from my own network and kind of looking at things from the outside. For me, I think living in Gibraltar has bridged that gap from a weather perspective. Um, when I was uh, younger, I think I found the city a wee bit too quiet in Perth. Um, so that's kind of different now than it was then. Um, there's just more stuff happening here. It's busier, like there just looks to be more options. And also, I'm probably not out as late as I was. It's not my driver the way it was. Um, so. You know, everywhere has their pros and cons, but I think if, uh, if you're thinking about moving somewhere, this this place is just unbelievable. Okay, so that is day one of meetings over in Perth. Um, I've got a few more scheduled tomorrow. It's going to be great to catch up with more people, some people we've done business with, some people I've worked with in the past, maybe as in an advisory or as a rec rec. So it's cool because. You know, we've launched our new L&D platform, so we've something to offer every recruitment business out there now where we're not just doing rack to rack. So it's, uh, yeah, it's nice to be able to speak to founders about not just people. So uh, now I've got the training gear on. I'm going to head to Kaizen Beer Brazilian Jiu Jitsu um, and check that class out. It's about a 40 minute walk. I'm gonna go through the city and then out into the suburbs and uh, yeah, do a, do a wee session there, try and get rid of some of the cobwebs. Also, trying to avoid going on the beer and meeting old mates and doing all of that. I'm gonna maybe do that on Thursday before I go to Melbourne. Um, 
kind of trying to keep their health and fitness up in the meantime. When you're traveling, it's bloody hard, but uh, who knows? I might have to call, call a couple of buddies later on, but gonna go do the training now and uh, earn those pints.